So recently, I've got a lot of comments from our subscribers that whenever we try to register a micro category drone like r 2 s or R3 or Mavic 3 series or uh, any other models, we are getting an error saying that you have already chosen an UN for this model. Many of them have requested me to make a new video about that error. I tried a lot of methods to rectify that error and finally I found a solution. So in this video, I'm going to explain you that method. So please consider subscribing if you're new to our channel. If you haven't watched my uh, last video regarding the drone registration, it's not a problem. I'm going to explain everything in this video from the start to the end so you don't need to uh, watch the last video because it will be a little bit confusing if you watch that video also so I'm completely making a new video so I'm in the digital sky website right now so this video is going to be lengthy please don't skip this video because there are a lot of small informations in this video so please don't skip this video and you need to have a passport passport is mandatory without passport you can't register a drone if you don't have a passport please first apply for a passport and the second thing is you have to link your mobile number as well as your mail ID to your other card the mobile number and the mail id both should be active you have to be using it actively because you will be getting an otp in that mobile number as well as the mail id so please keep that in mind i've given the digital sky website link in the description you can click it you will be directed to this site in the home page in the top right corner you can see a register button i'm going to explain from the start so i'm going to register as a new user so here you can see five profiles i'm going to select i'm a us manufacturer or importer so now dj drones have to be listed in the profile of manufacturer or importer profile so i'm selecting the manufacturer or importer profile the first is an indian manufacturer or importer you need to select an indian and in the next step it will ask for an individual or company we are individual so i'm clicking individual and in the next step it will ask for your name mail id mobile number and password you need to give your name as per the valid id proof but please keep it in mind that you need to enter your name as in the passport not as in the other card the next step is you need to enter the mail id and mobile number which is already linked to your other card and you need to create a password as per the given criteria and preview your applicant name mail address mobile number and password if you feel any information given is wrong please edit it in the same tab after this process you can't edit it after confirmation click create account you will be sent an otp to your mail id as well as your mobile number and you need to enter the captcha for security reason and you need to submit after submitting you will get a message that congratulations account created successfully you have only created the account below that you can see an option that yes create profile and no i will do it later please click yes create profile it will ask for your name your name is automatically filled in the previous step so you can click continue and your mail id mobile number is also so fetched from the last step please click continue and in the identity proof it will ask for Aadhaar and Indian passport both are mandatory PAN is not mandatory so you just click Aadhaar and passport you will get the continue option and it will ask for two documents in the next step you need to upload a document in the third line you will be having a link just click that it will direct you to the Aadhaar portal there you can see Aadhaar paperless offering EKYC just click it you need to log in to your Aadhaar just enter the Aadhaar number and captcha you will OTP will be sent to your registered mobile number and just log in after logging in you can can see a lot of options there you need to select offline ekyc you just click it there it will ask for four digit share code it's nothing but a temporary password you can enter any number you want i'm just entering one two three four you can also enter one two three four it's just a temporary password after entering one two three four you just click the download button below a zip file will be downloaded you just need to extract it just right click it and click extract here it will ask for passcode that is one two three four which we entered in the last step just enter it a dot xml file will be extracted so in the upload document you need to upload that xml file just enter the passcode that is 1234 which we entered in the last step you need to enter the mail id and mobile number which we gave in the last step and in the next step it will ask for your passport number and place of issue and date of issue and date of expiry and these all information will be available in your passport and in the upload document as i said in the beginning of the video you need to have a document it can be in pdf or document or jpeg format the first and last page of your passport should be in a single page you just need to upload it i will show you the sample how it looks after uploading your passport click continue you will be asked for the street address in my case my address is same as in other so I'm clicking same as in other. If your current address is different from your other address, click new address and enter your address manually. As my street address pin code is same as in other, so the details have been fetched already from my other. So I don't need to enter it manually. You can see here, I just need to enter the gender type alone. The date of birth is also automatically fetched. Now click preview. You will be shown the entire details which we entered. Just confirm it and click the create profile which is located in the bottom right. A checkbox will be shown. Click that and click continue. You will get a message that congratulations, your profile has been created successfully. Now click go to dashboard. We have just created our profile. We have not yet registered our drone. Please keep that in mind. So the next step is click the plus button which is available in the top right corner. You will be shown three options. One is add prototype US, another one is add serial number and another one is add exempted model. What we will do usually is we will create add serial number. I'm just doing it and in that we have to click manual. In the manufacturer name I'm entering DJI and we can see various DJI models and I'm selecting add 2s right now. Yes, we have got that error. That is you have already chosen one UN from 
this model choose another model to continue not only me many of them have got this error let's see how to fix it i'm just clicking close now what we have to do is click the plus button which is available in the top right corner now we have to select add exempted model so a lot of information about our dj drone will be asked by digital sky website please don't get panicked because we don't need to enter the entire information we are only going to fill the details which we already know about our dj drone in our case the first point is is uas npnt complaint uas means unmanned aircraft system that is our drone npnt means no permission no takeoff all kind of dji drone doesn't have npnt complaint i'm selecting not available in the next step it is asking for name of the manufacturer our manufacturer name is dji i'm entering dji and click continue and in the next step it's asking for class of uas so we are currently registering our micro category drones i'm selecting micro category next in the model name enter whatever model you are trying to register say in my case i'm currently doing r2s so if you are trying to register your dji r3 you just enter dji r3 next in serial number tab it will ask for three serial number first one is manufacturer or importer serial number and next one is serial number of flight control module and third one is serial number of remote pilot station module the first one that is manufacturer or importer serial number that is your drone serial number you can just take your battery from r2s and you will see the drone serial number if you have mavic 3 series or r3 series drone when you remove the battery a serial number will be in the back side of your drone it will be in the combination of letters and numbers and for flight control module serial number and remote pilot station serial number you can find it in your dji fly app uh, you need to connect your drone in the about page there will be a serial number of the battery and below that you can see flight control serial number and remote station serial number i'll be including an image of that you can just enter the serial number correctly for now i'm entering a dummy serial number for gcs software version gcs app version you don't need to enter it just click continue continue and for photographs of the us it will ask for two photographs you just need to upload the photograph of your drone of the front view and the top view in this step only front view and top view is mandatory so for the rest everything you click continue 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 and then in the next step it will ask for the category of us our drone is a rotor craft so click rotor craft it will say that some of the informations are mandatory like here you can see all of weight maximum speed maximum height and operational envelope these four informations are mandatory in the left side in the flight specs you can see it's in red all of weight is 2 kg for micro category it's 2 kg you can also enter your particular drone model maximum weight i'm just entering 2 kg the next step maximum altitude the maximum altitude air to us can go is 500 meters and i'm entering meters click continue and operational envelope in operational envelope you can see vlos and day vlos means visual line of sight in india we definitely need to fly our drone only in visual line of sight and we can fly in day so we have to click both the vlos and day and click continue and the rest all things you can continue and in the upload document section it will be asking for a lot of informations like detailed drawing analysis report test report we don't need to enter any of the information we just need to scroll down and click other media file the last step you need to click it and we can preview it our informations will be available please make sure that your serial number is correct in this step and click add model after clicking add model you will be getting a message that your exempted model has been added successfully you may now proceed with adding serial number and obtain uin okay we have successfully added the serial number still we have not registered the drone so click go to dashboard now so now what you have to do is you have to click the top right corner and now you click the add serial number here you have to click manual i'm again entering dji now you can see i am clicking add to us even now i'm getting the same so i'm clicking cancel and now in the exempted us models we can see our model have been uh, listed exempted us list so what i need to do is so i need to copy the model number i'm just selecting it right click copy i need to click the top right plus button and now i am adding the serial number manual continue i'm um, now i'm not entering in the manufacturer name i'm clicking model name and i'm pasting the model name here you can see here dj r to us now i'm clicking the r to us now you can see i'm not getting the error again i have been directed to the next step that is it is asking for four serial numbers first one is uas serial number uas serial number is nothing but your drone serial number which is available in the back side of your drone so you can enter the uas serial number and the next one is fcm flight control module serial number and rpa serial number these both serial numbers you can get it from your dj fly app please connect your drone in the about page and scroll down you will get the battery serial number below that you will be having the flight control model serial number and below that you will be getting rpa serial number i will attach the screenshot how it looks in the fourth tab it will ask for uas uuid uas uuid is nothing but the rpa serial number in the serial number which we entered in the third tab we need to repeat the same in the uas uuid number and select the date of manufacture you can find the date of manufacture of your drone in the box so i'm just entering dummy number for educational purpose you need to enter the correct serial number and correct date of manufacture 
manufacturer so after that click preview now we'll get a message that serial number has been successfully added still you have not registered your drone we have just added the serial number so click go to dashboard now and in the left bottom you will see get or transfer uan click that you can see your model and in the pending action it will be mentioned as apply uan click that apply uan it will ask for your drone photographs in this step it will ask for front view top view and close-up view of the serial number the left view and right view of your drone is optional you don't need to upload it i'm just uploading a w photo click upload you can see the form d2 uh, preview button so please make sure the information which you given is correct and click make payment you need to click the checkbox and click continue here you can see make payment UN application fees is 100 rupees click make payment you will be directed to Bharat Kosh website it's a payment website of our government there you can select your preferred payment method like net banking debit card credit card UPI you need to enter the captcha below and you also need to click a checkbox below click pay and you can pay it after the payment your UN will be sent to your mail ID your registered mail ID sometimes you will get it immediately or sometimes it will take time and you can also verify your UN in digital scale website in the list of UANs you can just type your UAN number your drone will be listed in that website so that's it you successfully registered your drone so if you find this video useful please consider subscribing and please give a thumbs up because i'm making a lot of efforts to make this video possible so stay tuned thank you